Welcome, guests. Today, you are among the first to read the new book, The Bells, by the famous writer-prophet Albert McLean. Thank you all for coming. Help! Help! Interesting. Very interesting. We've just received a letter about this very incident. Never a dull moment in a detective's life, huh? Let's go! You again? What do you want, Miss Smith? There will be more victims if you refuse, Jeffrey. I told you, Martha! Never! Now go! You'll regret this. I suppose that was Jeffrey Lamont, the man who asked us here. What was he arguing about with that journalist? Something's going on inside. This is your fault, Albert. Your distrust in me caused all of this.
That must be Albert McLean in the chair. Perhaps he hasn't disappeared after all. We need to sneak in quietly to catch them. How did you get in here? Sorry, but it seemed like you were going to hurt someone. I'm sorry for worrying you. This is just a mannequin, and my nerves are shot. Nevertheless, thank you for coming so quickly, detectives. This is a serious situation. We planned Albert's mysterious disappearance at his book's launch event to increase sales. He was supposed to disappear from this rigged chair. 
exit through the basement, and then magically reappear at the festival in the square. But something went wrong. Albert never showed up at the festival. He may be trapped in the basement, but I only know that the hatch is locked with a hidden combination lock. I found one part of the mechanism, but the rest are missing. Could you help me find them? Here, take this. We need to activate a secret passage to the basement. Open the secret hatch. We may need help. I'll get someone.
Albert, and he'll tell me everything I want to know. Stay away from me! A typewriter is a writer's main tool. Martha went through the window. Look, I found one of the angel's bracelets. We need to find the other one.
wanted to make everyone crazy for your stories, but now it's come full circle to bite you. Bells! Ringing! The... the fire! We found Albert. Albert needs help.
Now people will die, just as you wrote in your book. When the bell in the chapel strikes for the ninth time, the town hall will be engulfed in flames. It'll cost six tickets to play for this key. Bring me six tickets and we'll play. of fire. The bells toll a portent to fire. She'll kill everyone. They'll all die. With the final strike, the town hall shall burn. Take this. Finally, we saved Albert, but his mind is broken. I'll get him to a hospital. In the meantime, you get inside the town hall, capture Martha, and save as many lives as you can. I'll be back. Here, 
I found another ticket on the way to the hospital. They said Albert would be all right. Before, Martha, never. The party's over. Please go home, everyone. We're lucky the police appeared at just the right time. I saw Jeffrey's condition, and he seemed stunned. It's all so strange. We need to analyze everything carefully. I know where the police station is. Let's go, and I'll show you. Take my detective ID. It may come in handy. I don't think you should touch the glasses. There may be fingerprints on them. We need to temporarily take your carriage. We need to follow the police. I'll try to find a master key for this lock. The hospital is closed. Only staff members are permitted inside. You need a pass and a password. Where do you want to go, detective?
It seems we're late. The police station is already closed, but we need to get inside. I'll help find a master key for the door. It's a great opportunity to interrogate the suspects. We just need to get into the police station. I'll look for something to open this door. Look what I found. It may come in handy. We need to get to the police station as quickly as possible. Got a lot of nerve breaking into the police station. Who are you? Oh, detective. Who else would dare break down the door to the police station? You can interrogate witnesses, but that's all. I don't want you to do anything else. Excellent. Let's interrogate Martha and Jeffrey. I'm not guilty. You're a killer, so this is just where you belong.
Detective, help me. We didn't want to hurt anyone. What happened? Why am I here? Everything's so foggy. What should I do? Oh, I remember. There was a camera at the festival. There should be photographs on it. Get them so I can prove I'm telling the truth. What nerve! This charlatan dares to deny his guilt, even after he tried setting the town hall on fire! I caught Jeffrey unwinding the cord, but that's the last thing I remember before I was stunned and tied to a barrel. Oh, it's so cold here. Is there really nothing warmer than this? Detective, may I trouble you for a cup of warm tea? Jeffrey's a swindler. A person died because of his tricks. I wanted to expose him, but now I'm stuck in a police station instead. Detective, will you help me finish the job? There was a camera at the festival, and I intentionally broke the opening mechanism so that no one could ruin the photo. I hid the camera key inside the statue. Perhaps Martha did want to prove Jeffrey's guilt, but that doesn't entirely clear Albert's name. In any case, it's worth returning to City Hall first. Maybe we've missed something. I see you managed to find the photo. Apparently, Jeffrey was telling the truth. 
He really was poisoned. Who was that? We need to go back to the station and figure it out. I need evidence. I think I'm starting to remember. A man approached me at the festival. He said he admired Albert's work and wanted us to drink to it. After that, everything's a blur. Wait, I've seen that man somewhere before. Shortly before the holiday, he spoke with Albert. They were being rather loud. I asked Albert about the stranger later, but he wouldn't say a thing. I guess he doesn't really trust me. That's all I know. Albert's bag must be in the City Hall building. Perhaps you'll find more information in it. It seems the trail leads us back to Albert, and he was taken to a local psychiatric hospital not far from here. Let's go. I'll show you. The hospital is closed. Only staff members are permitted inside. You need a pass and a password. I haven't seen you before, but if you have a pass, then you must be here to take over for me. Only one patient was admitted to our hospital today, and he shouldn't be disturbed until the doctor arrives. You'll find everything you need to work in the closet. Good luck. It's good that he left.
Look what I found. It could be useful. Where did Albert go? Look, there's someone in the closet. Look, there's someone in... Thank you.
Albert, how did you end up in the closet? I was hiding from the orderly. You see, I'm terribly afraid of injections, but the door slammed and I couldn't open it. We've come to question you. There's evidence that you're involved in the murder. I'm so sorry that I agreed to this, detective. I'm too shaken up to talk about it. But if you find my wife's locket, I'm sure I'll be calm. It looks like we're one step closer to the truth. I'll stay with Albert and make sure he's all right. You, my friend, will find the locket. Recently, to coincide with the release of the City Invisibles book, Jeffrey and I decided to play a prank to boost sales. We've been dressing up as ghosts and scaring people. But one girl was so frightened that she died. Her heart stopped. And her father, oh, I'm so sorry. Please, leave me. Take this. I hid the evidence inside the clock by the fireplace. It seems that Albert's condition is becoming more unstable. I hope he recovers soon. It's unlikely that he'll be able to tell us more. But thanks to Albert's confession, we can distract the policeman and get to the laboratory. It will have all the equipment we need to study the evidence we found. I'll stay with Albert for a while and join you a little later. What have you got there? Oh my god! That's who staged all of this! Thank you, detective! I'll go get Albert. Please, try not to touch anything.
I see that you already made it to the laboratory. Excellent. They probably have all the equipment we need to analyze the evidence there. Must analyze the evidence.
Interesting. The fingerprints and blood type match Donald Carpenter, the man who recently lost his daughter. Now we know where to go. Let's go out there. The cab is waiting for us. Where do you want to go, detective? is dangerous. You must find a way to neutralize it before it spreads throughout the city. <coughs> but first, you need a mask to get to the source of the fumes. I saw one in the hospital. Take this. It will help you find it. Yeah. 
I've barely recovered from inhaling this smoke. It was Donald, our suspect. I wanted to interrogate him, but failed. Wait a minute. I managed to tear his bag from him. It fell into the fountain. We need to pick it up. Where do you want to go, detective? It's clear that Donald didn't want anyone to find these records. I think these pages were torn from the notebook, which means there may still be traces of ink on the page. This could be our lucky break. I think we'd better start the search for Donald at his house. should be notes on
There should be notes on where Donald went around here somewhere. This may come in handy. It's almost certain that Donald had something to do with what happened in the town hall. If Donald carries out his plan, many people will die. We need to meet with the supplier and find out where Donald went. There's a description in the notebook of Donald's plan to poison the townspeople. Detective, welcome to our bar. Did you happen to find my glove? I knew the players wouldn't play without music, but I was so angry that I broke the gramophone. Please, return the jewelry. Then I'll tell you everything you want to know. I remember how you always won when we played cards, but these are professional players. We need to do our best because we can't afford to lose. I'm afraid that I can't help you, but take this. It will bring you good luck. Do you want to play? You see... I only play to music, and this damn gramophone broke my favorite record again. Who broke my favorite record?
That's music to my ears. Now we can play the game. You just need to place your bet. Not bad, not bad. Well, choose your prize. Thank you so much. Well, we recently made a deal with Donald and I brought him a chemical. I don't know why he needs it, but it's incredibly toxic. He kept talking about some bridge. That's what fell from Donald's pocket last time he was here. It looks like an address, take it. Excellent. Let's get moving. I'll go after the crew. Meet me on the street.
for everything. Soon, we'll see who has the last laugh. We're finally close to the criminal. We need to stop him fast. from avenging my poor daughter. Where were you before when all I wanted was justice? Now, it's too late. Go away, or I'll make you regret it. Oh. I blocked the draining hose, but if we don't turn the pump off, it could explode and poison the river.
was sentenced to eight years in a high security prison for kidnapping, arson, and attempted poisoning. Jeffrey Lehman was sentenced to one and a half years in a medium security prison for fraud. Albert McLean hasn't recovered and is still being treated at the asylum. Martha Smith continues her work as a journalist to expose the most mysterious cases.